Well, I'm back in London today and I'm back shooting back streets and alleyways, but I'm not doing it at night time this time. It's daytime, of course. So what I'm hoping for, instead of that nighttime effect, I'm hoping to get nice sunshine, blue skies, so we get sunshine and shadows, highlights and shadows in these back streets that I'm going to explore. It's not happening at the moment because it's only just stopped raining, but it is promised to uh, clear up. And hopefully I will have that and that will give me the effect I want to give these back streets some sort of atmosphere. So I'm using a map published by Blue Crow uh, Publishers. Um, it's called London Alleyways and it's listed all the uh, top uh, alleyways in London. Some I've been to, some I haven't. So it's good. It's a good map that it's listing some of the ones I have been to, but even better that it's listed some that I haven't. And those are the ones I'm going to try and discover today. So I'm in the Farringdon area this morning. And my first stop was Crawford Passage. Um, didn't really live up to much. It was just a, a cute kind of dead end. I didn't think it was going to be much. So there wasn't really a photograph to do there. Now I've come around the corner and I'm off to my second one. Let's see if this is a bit more interesting. Now this is a bit more like it. It's obviously an old alleyway that's been here for years with the old houses above there. Lots of new building work going on around here. Really noisy. But this is the type of thing that I'm after. And even though it is still overcast this morning, I reckon we've got our first shot here. But yeah, a bit of sunshine down here, a bit of light and shadow. Probably would have lifted this a bit more, but we'll grab this shot for now as we're here. And of course, any places I see like this, which has got an old Victorian looking street lamp. I'll bear in mind, so in case I want to come back and do a nighttime shoot of this, because that could work pretty well too. Okay, next one on the, uh, on the list, third one in this area, according to the map, is this one called Passing Alley. Oh, and I'll put a, a link in the description below to a link to the maps. So if you want to purchase one yourself, you can do so. So this is just a, a small alleyway, typical of any old town like London or kind of the ones I see in York. So that's the view that way, There's some lamps. And that's the view that way. And there is a street lamp above there as well. So again, this is one that probably looks better at night time. There's not much feature to it otherwise, but we'll try and capture one whilst we're here. Possibly in black and white, I think. So with those three done, it's off to St Paul's area, but there's another three and it's starting to clear up. Sun's not coming out yet, but it is starting to clear up. So this one is just a, a little bit of an alleyway tunnel that leads to the public gallery entrance of the Old Bailey. It's funny, I've walked past around this area so many times and never knew of this one. Um, I don't know if it necessarily makes a great shot. I'll take one anyway, but it's just fascinating that these little alleyways, little tunnels, just around the corner from where I've probably walked a hundred times before, are just around the corner, hidden away. Well, the actual shots I took here weren't that interesting, but the confrontation with security was. I wasn't videoing, unfortunately, but I was recording audio, and it went something like this. Sir, you're not allowed to take pictures. Oh, sorry. So if you've got any pictures, we're going to have to get you to delete them. This is not it's a public, public walkway, This though. is all camera data. It's all to do with our court. Right. So you need to delete But is it not a public walkway? It is a it public is. walkway, but there are things you can't do. You can't take pictures, pictures. especially off because we've got cameras down. Yeah, I understand that. 
but it's a public walkway it like. It is a public walkway, sir, but we're going to have to ask you, like we do everyone else, if you can delete your pictures. No, you could ask me not to take pictures. I'm happy to do that if it's fine, but I can't delete pictures. So, have you taken lots of pictures? Just of you? these stairs, right? This is what I'm taking pictures of. Because the cameras are watching you and they well, can see what you're what, taking pictures of. That's fair enough. I'm not, no problem with that. I just thought this was a public walkthrough. It is a public it is a public but there's no pictures to be taken. This yeah, gets but, all shut out up at night. Yeah, but if it's public, <sighs> that becomes like public pavements. It's you're yeah. you're within your right but, to take pictures, you see. But we do have things where people not anyone that are taking pictures down here are not allowed. And I, I know, but there's there's what you do them. and what the official law is. I'm not I'm not being annoyed. Okay. Well, you can't take pictures anyway. Okay, so. if you want some, I'm I'm not going to argue with that. So I'll stop taking pictures. I don't want to offend you in any way. But right. the fact that you're trying to ask me to delete pictures, I think that's another step, which is against the law. You have, you know, a policeman can ask me to delete the pictures if I'm on public land. You see what I mean? That's why I'm just well, defining the difference there. So. Well, we're just saying, saying obviously no more pictures to be taken. Okay, oh, fair enough. I don't want to, you know, okay. annoy you or anything. But oh, okay, fine. Thank okay, you. thank you. So an interesting uh, confrontation there. Um, the security came down to me underneath the old bailey there just to uh, ask me to not take pictures and to delete the pictures I had taken because obviously there's cameras under there uh, so they could see what I was doing. Now, because that is actually a public walkway, it may be going underneath the law courts, it's a public walkway. I said, I'm happy to not take any pictures. I don't want to offend you anymore if it's not something you really want, but you can't ask me to delete my pictures. Not even the police could ask or force me to uh, delete my pictures there, simply because that is a public walkway. I, they allow the public to walk through there. Therefore, it's not private property. And therefore, they can't actually stop me from taking pictures or especially deleting them. But yeah, so I did get a few pictures there, but I'm going to move on now. But I did need to stand my ground there because I think, I think I was in the right there. So this last one here is called the Steel Yard or Steel Yard Passage. It's down behind uh, Cannon Street Station, almost by the river. I have remembered that I have been down here before. I walked through here before. Obviously, it didn't look to see if there was anything of significance. But judging by today, where there's too many parked cars, maybe it's just one that just can't get a clear view of it. There's a big uh, X cross girder piece there. It looks quite nice. But there's so many parked cars, you can't really get a clear view. But the sun is out now, so hopefully my next shots, the next alleyways I do, will be a lot more exciting, a bit more dramatic. Hopefully with a bit of light and shade, light and shade down the middle of the alleyways, and we'll get some better shots this afternoon. So now I've come over to the Charon Cross area and my first stop is a place called Craven Passage. Let's go and check out where this is. It's Craven Street, so it must be nearby. So the view I think I want is the view looking up these lovely steps out onto those lampposts into the brighter light out there which is going to be difficult to uh, expose for but that's what we have and that's the view so I made sure I exposed for the highlights up there rather than the shadows down here I don't mind if these steps go a bit dark but I don't want that burning out too much uh, in the background there even if this may be a black and white in the end result but with all that colour over there, especially a shot from this side, well, it would be a shame to lose that, so that may be a colour shot as well. But again, exposing for those highlights, not too much for these shadows.
Well, that may be the best one so far, which is good. It means we're making progress. Well, this next one is a little bit unusual, um, therefore it could be a good one. Um, this is underneath the Adelphi Hotel, somewhere I've never walked around. And I think it's a bit of a shortcut that the black cab drivers use. So there's a bit of an archway, a bit of a tunnel, and that's what I'm going to go and find next. No idea where it is though. It must be uh, down here underneath. So this is it. This is Lower Robert Street and this alleyway is nicknamed the Bat Cave. I wonder why? So I've jumped on the tube over to St James's now, near St James's Park, and I've come over to this one alleyway, well it's the one that made me buy the map actually. I'm not saying it's a fantastic alleyway, but it intrigued me enough to know that I didn't know that alleyway, it was featured on the map, and it looked quite good. Let's hope it lives up to the hype then. Well all those people obviously know about it, but uh, no I've never been down before. So it's nothing fancy, it's not one to really shout about, but it's simple, understated and could make a, a little gem of a shot. So I spent about half an hour here, but I realised that I needed the sun to move round in the sky a bit, to cast some light down here, to give me some more interesting views from both the bottom and the top. Well, my final alleyway on this project is a more modern one. It's up at King's Cross, but it does rely on sunshine, which I have, because it relies on light and shadow for the, the shots to work. Now, whether that's a morning shot or an afternoon shot, I don't know. It's the afternoon now, so fingers crossed. But whether it's a summer or a winter one, again, that could determine whether I get these shots or not. There's only one way to find out. So here, as you can see, we've got this modern building here. Not sure what this is, school or something, I don't know. But you've got this alleyway here with this fencing and the light over to my left is creating shadows on my right here. That's what I want. There's my views 
and if someone walks into that light that will be perfect but I think there's enough contrast and shape and dynamic lines going on that well it could be a shop without people or with people what I think it does need is a wide lens and for me today the widest is a 24 millimeter well thankfully the light and the shadows this afternoon are perfect well let's kick things off with a people free shot just using the shadows the lines and the graphic nature of this view then with lots of people pulling suitcases behind them up this alleyway presumably coming back from St Pancras station they add a sense of scale in this view and here looking slightly up to exaggerate the perspective with the wide lens. The human element included again now, but now keeping the verticals, well, vertical. Now, this lady is wearing a white jumper, so the obvious spot to place her is against that pocket of shadow for contrast. Next, a slightly closer view, and now including one of the lamps. And here's a lamp shot, but without any people. And now the closer view without the lamps, but including one person. And how about a colour shot? We need at least one of them. And finally, a low angle, high contrast, black and white to finish off. Well, this is so good. I think I'm going to return tomorrow and see what it's like in morning light with morning shadows. Well, I did return the next morning before I went off for my next shoot. A little too early, actually, as the sun hadn't even climbed over the St Pancras station. But when it did, it did cast some more shadows. But sadly, they didn't quite match the previous afternoon's examples. And as for that next shoot, well, that's an E6 exclusive. That's going to be part of my E6 subscription. An amazing subscription package that offers exclusive videos, e-guides, podcasts, e-books, image reviews, and discount of my online photography courses and city workshops. See, six great features. And that's why it's called E6, because there's six of them. The E then referring to the E of e-guides and e-books, etc. See, there's thought behind the name. Anyway, go to www.e6subscription to find out more and I'll see you next time.